Okay, doing a little night exploration, and here is the entrance to an abandoned mine, a uh, partially collapsed entrance right here. You can see some boulders have come down from, from the hillside, but uh, you can still get in on this side. So let's go in here and check this out. Kind of got to sit down and slide into this one. So we just came in there and you can see right here is the original entrance. They had a wooden portico, a pretty wide one, but that's what the collapse covered up. So that's a pretty substantial portico, a lot of heavy timbers there, even on top. See that there's a cross beam and then uh, actually two cross beams and then these other timbers that were placed perpendicular. And those are really thick. That's about uh, almost three inches thick. But anyway, big entrance, big tunnel, you can see here. Uh, continues this way, so let's go check it out. I was actually in this mine about 10 or 11 years ago, but the person I was with really came in pretty much, I can't remember how far we came in, not that far. I think we, I think we passed this, this little intersection here. There's an alcove and then the tunnel keeps going straight here. It kind of starts to go downhill here. I remember we came down in here, but we turned around because we really hadn't planned on coming here. We just thought we would check it out. Actually, this tunnel I don't think is marked on the map. So when we came up here, we kind of found it by accident and we didn't have our gear with us, if I can remember correctly. So that's why we didn't uh, explore it. We only came in 100 feet or so and then said we'd come back, but we never did. So yeah, it's kind of unusual to have a main haulage tunnel like this one coming down on an incline, starting right back up there, but this one does. Here's a little, that goes somewhere, but we'll keep going down the main haulage tunnel, downward. Well, I've come down here to the first bend. The tunnel continues this way to the left. And then right here. Oh, I thought this was, I thought this was a dead end. Uh, it's not. There's a branch that goes that way, too. I see timbering down there. That's probably the main tunnel. Uh, we just came from that way, from up there. And I, this over here might be a dead end. I do know that this mine is rather extensive and on site there is a vertical shaft. I can't remember how deep it goes. I want to say 600 feet. So there's probably a lot of workings here on different levels. Um, right, right here, this might be, uh, there's a wall here. And, uh, Looks like some stope, stoping is going on. Let's go back and take that branch with the timbers in it. That's probably the main tunnel. Back here at the first junction, some interesting rock colors there. Kind of a gray colored pocket there surrounded by, looks like sulfur, a yellowish color. And that's surrounded by some darker, dark brown, almost black. See that? Okay, so we're gonna head this way. What I think is the main tunnel. Well, here's another intersection. To the left, kind of a dead end. And then to the right, kind of a dead end. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. So, here's more of that yellow surrounded by the black, and there's a little bit of gray in the center of that yellow, just like there was at the, at the main intersection. Gray right there. We'll continue this way. Got some timbers here. 
<clears throat> well, I come back over to the other side, to that other branch, and I'm going to climb up into these stopes and see where these go. see some support timbers up there where my light is and hopefully we'll get to more tunnels I mean these stopes are cool but they're not the most exciting thing to uh, explore let me get underneath this arch ah, there's a retaining wall I wonder what's behind that maybe we can see up here to the left nope doesn't go through. Ah, check that out. There's some ore cart tracks in there on an incline. There is a shaft on this site, vertical, but that doesn't mean it couldn't turn inclined further down from the top. This might be that shaft. Okay, just came down through that little opening into this inclined shaft. Here's looking up the shaft. You can see the tracks going up. That goes up there. Looks like there's another drift level right there where my light is. And then probably further up. And then here at the bottom. Looks like it bottoms out right about here. Big timber here. And then uh, I don't think it goes any further. I can see the bottom down there. So... I think that's kind of just where we were, maybe. Let's go down there and check that out real quick. Here's some stoping above the inclined shaft, and then they left this, this arch here of rock. That's probably a, uh, an old survey tag right there. And then the inclined shaft comes down here. And uh, this is where we were earlier. Oh, I know where we are. There's that wooden wall. So we were just on the other side of that. And uh, there's the tracks from the inclined shaft. Kind of bottoms out here. We're just in a big stove. Here, not a big stope, but for those that don't know, a stope is a large chamber underground like this one that is, uh, is what remains after the miners remove all the ore that they're mining. These chambers, these voids, are called stopes. Some can be as huge as four, five, six houses and bigger. Some can be small like this one. But, uh, yeah, so... The tracks here come down. There's a ladder here. Wow, that goes somewhere. Down to lower levels. I don't know how you get down there because there's only one ladder. There's not another ladder below that. Oh, there is, but yeah, that's that looks pretty pretty that's probably pretty deep. They got the air the airline and the water lines going down there for the drills and stuff. So there's probably major workings below us. Like I said, I think it's a 600 foot vertical shaft, 600 feet deep. But we'll keep going this way. This is where the uh, tracks for the incline shaft are, are taking us. Yeah, this mine is... Uh, it's got branches going every which way, up and down. And, um, yeah, you could get lost in this one, I think, but I remember, I know where we're at. That inclined shaft, and we, we head up to the right. So we just came from that way, the inclined shaft. This right here is just a void, kind of a mini stope. And then uh, over there, I think some more stoping. But it looks like the main tunnel goes this way. There's a ladder laying down there, and the, 
these pipes here were for the air and water for the drills. So uh, those go that way. So let's follow the pipes. Okay, here's that ladder, broken ladder. The pipes are going around here to the right. Oh, there's a lot of timbers here. Well, here's another shaft. It looks vertical. And uh, the pipes make a lift here and, and go into the shaft. Oh, yeah, I think I feel some airflow. Well, this was a vertical shaft. You can see ladders in there. But they threw a bunch of debris down in from the top, all these timbers, to probably plug it. But uh, let me turn the camera up and see if we can see um, up to the top. Okay, let's see. Get the lights right. Uh, it just keeps going up. Look at that. So yeah, it's one of the vertical shafts here. And who knows how far down it goes. Um, but can't access it anyway. Even right there, you can see a gap, but there's too much, uh, too much debris. That large, um, behind the ladder, see where my light is? Let me turn my light down. Uh, behind the ladder, you see that looks like a barrel or a tube. That's probably ventilation tubing, I bet. Good size ventilation tubing. Okay, I gotta back out of here. This is a dead end, basically. Well, it's not a dead end, but this is where the shaft is, but we can't go any further. Yeah, there's a better shot of that. I think that's ventilation tubing right there behind that ladder. It's corrugated, so I don't think that's a barrel. But let's toss a rock down there and see if we can hear how far, how far it goes. I don't know. Um, I'm sure it's deep. Anyway, but yeah, just a, a mess of ladders and timbers. So, so apparently they hoisted stuff up there. I don't know if there was a a drop-off point here for the incline shaft to take the ore out or if they went straight to the top. Um, it's kind of strange there's an incline shaft that bottoms out right here and a vertical shaft. I don't know. Ah, look on that timber up there. Somebody, one of the miners wrote uh, the word powder. Let me zoom in there to that. Powder. Look at that. It's all rusted, but uh, still that's an ore cart. Okay, this came up through that little opening and it came up into this stoke chamber and found this, this wooden, wooden retaining wall. But I think we saw this on the way in. I'm kind of getting turned around in here. Um, I just tossed a rock onto those boards to see how, how sturdy they were and it moved and it made that gap. And the boards are actually cracked anyway in the middle, almost all the way across. Both of them are, see that? There's a crack. So, boy, if those would break, you'd slip right down through there and down into that hole. So...